Or who knows, maybe he could have gone down past age, where he became a vigilante and killed people who he believed were evil. That would be Hush, who I don't have an image of, sadly. Pain, real pain. <laughs> and finally, he could have gone down path B, not Batman, Bane. Bane believes in strength and values it more than anything else, and that path definitely could have gone to Bruce. But we all know that Batman didn't go down these paths, and which is why it's interesting to see how these characters, how this character could have gone down a path of violence, but he didn't. And it's really interesting to see this dichotomy between him and all these villains. Another quick example of the reflectionist would have to be your boy, Naruto. Now, Naruto is a series that doesn't get very good near the end, but in the beginning it definitely starts off strong. And one of the main contributing factors to it would have to be the villain known as Gaara, aka Sandman with red hair. Gaara is a bit different from Naruto. While they definitely are born the same way, born, both were born in a village, both were born with a giant kaiju that can sprout up from their bellies and 